Obama, Obama, Obama. This is Dabu 7, January 22nd, 2013. And I got a little bit of information to share with you in regards to Obama, and none of it's good. Um, there's a shocking claim that Obama only wants military leaders who will fire on U.S. citizens. This comes from a very credited source. This man made a fa Facebook uh, post yesterday, Dr. Jim Garrow, that he had been informed by a senior military leader that Obama has a new litmus test. And that litmus test is, will you fire on U.S. citizens or not? I have many buddies in the reserves, navies, marines. Many of them have told me the same thing. Matter of fact, quite a few of them have told me it was one of the very first questions they were even asked if they would fire on U.S. citizens if they had to, which is disturbing in its own right. Well, now Marine Corps General James Mattis is being dismissed by Obama, and some have to wonder, is this the reason why, all of a sudden, he is being told to vacate his office several months earlier than planned, all right? Obama's saying, pack your bags and get out of your office and leave this post by March, okay? Now that we know that, let's take a look at this headline. Obama again lets the Chinese own U.S. energy resources. This is a, a big read here. This goes in depth about uh, the different companies that China has and equity that it's buying and U.S. energy production, and it is moving in to a lot of different areas. Now, China leased first oil rights in Texas. Remember that, okay? Bought a multi-million dollar stake in 600,000 acres of South Texas oil and gas fields. South Texas, running all the way down to the Mexican border, okay? So what they're buying up now, with the acquisition that they made through Canada, they are going to be moving into the Gulf of Mexico in U.S. waters. In the Gulf of Mexico, they're buying up land in Wyoming, Texas, Oklahoma, Ohio, all over the place, California. And that brings me to the most disturbing part of all this. Obama is making an act of high treason. And if this doesn't disturb you, I don't know if anything will. He is closing our air defense system on the U.S.-Mexico border. There ain't a damn thing one of you shills can say about that. You want to support this? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're going to come and attack me about? Huh? Because this is BS. This man is closing the air defense system on the U.S.-Mexico border leaving Texas and America vulnerable to attack from low-altitude missiles and aircraft. There's quite a few different leaks here that I'll leave for you. But what they're essentially doing is stopping their contract that they had with Excellus Systems Corporation, which was contracted to do this job, and they're terminating the last two optional years of the contract. <clears throat> and they had sent a letter to them that they want this whole operation shut down by March 15th. So he had the general being kicked out, told to have his bags packed early, out by March. And now by March 15th, you have our border air radar systems being shut down completely dismantled permanently we can take a look here at the email that was sent out from this company to its employees stating that it received a government request for a proposal to descope and close the TARS program by the end of the fiscal year and it indicates that they do not intend to exercise the final two two-year option on the contract Okay. It also indicated the intent that aerostat flight operations will cease on March 15, 2013, and that the remainder of the fiscal year will be used to deflate the aerostats, disposition equipment, and prepare sites for permanent closure. These sites will be shut down indefinitely. Like I said before, 
if you can't see what's going on here, you better wake up quick. The Chinese moving into the Gulf of Mexico, buying up land all over the place. And if any one single rumor of all the Chinese, the military, the, the photos, the videos of all the Chinese equipment that's down in Mexico are true. And they drop these air defense systems. It's not going to take much for one million Chinese to get across this damn border. And to come and take what they believe is rightfully theirs. Because they paid for it. And your government and Obama is selling your country out right underneath your feet. To the Chinese and other interests. I'm warning you, this is not good. At all. You have got to think like the enemy in order to defeat the enemy. And if I'm the enemy of the U.S. anywhere in the world, and I see that they take their air defense system down on the Mexico border, guess what? It doesn't take a genius to figure this out. This is disturbing on many levels. This is high treason by Barack Obama. You need to write to your congressman. You need to talk to your senators. You need to get on the ball on this. Because I'm telling you, if this just goes slipping under the radar, just like all these missiles and any other aircraft are going to be doing across our border, then we're smoked. I'm telling you right now, this is high treason. You do not drop our air defense system on any border, especially to a wild country like Mexico with all the drug cartels, the shootings, the killings. Obama's running our guns down to him that he's taken from us, giving them to them. And you wonder why they want us disarmed. Because one day, as soon as this dollar collapses and this economy collapses, the Chinese are going to come for what they paid for. And they're going to do it in the belief that they rightfully own it. Y'all stay sharp, man. I'll leave links. Till next time, Dabu7. And watch out for the timeline of March into April, April 1st, 2013. Okay? This is Dabu7, January 22nd, 2013.